Hey there everybody, this is Charles from the Gamer Infinity welcoming you back to Let's Play Pokemon Red Version. Uh, last time we were here, I was in Pewter City, where I still am, and uh, I decided to train up my Pokemon a little bit. This is probably the only spot of grinding you'll ever need to do in Pokemon, honestly. Uh, except for the leap between uh, the uh, Victory Road and the Elite Four, but that won't come till way later. Um, basically what you want to do is kind of like train in here. Uh, Bulbasaur, the Pokemon I've been using, doesn't learn uh, its only Grass-type attack, Vine Whip. Or not its only Grass-type, but uh, its earliest Grass-type attack, Vine Whip, until level 13 in this version of the game, which is weird. Uh, I also trained Pikachu up to level 13 for shits and gigs. Uh, he's not going to get a lot of experience in this next gym, so, I mean, there's not much I can do about that. Since it's a Ground-type gym, or rather a Rock-type gym... Uh, rock Pokemon are resistant to normal attacks, as well as being, uh, kind of a pain in the ass to beat. They also usually have really high HP. It's $50 for a child's ticket. Holy Christ. I'm guessing it's like 50 cents. I'm guessing it's like yen. There's nothing up here. But this is the Pokemon Museum, in case you're wondering. There's an old man. That is one magnificent fossil. I can't wait till I'm old and I can just stand in the middle of me <laughs> museums like, Oh man, look at these magnificent fossils. This is my wife. <laughs> uh, that's not funny at all. Let's keep going on, shall we? I like how the museum has a space exhibit, which of course makes perfect sense. It's a pretty small uh, space shuttle. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. For some reason when I was little, I thought you could uh, trade Pikachu here. Like, I don't know, I thought, like, there'd be, like, if you had Pikachu, you could trade it, but no, you can't. July 20th, 1969, the first lunar landing. They didn't have color TVs back then. Meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone? Question mark? Exclamation point. Yeah, in later games, they do have the museums, but they're in different versions, basically. It's like, uh... I know in uh, Emerald they have like some kind of nautical museum, and in uh, what are the other games? They have other types of museum. They're all pretty standard, though. So basically, this is a ground rock type gym. Uh, if you start, if you start off with Squirtle or um, Bulbasaur, I think Squirtle learns Bubble at like level eight or nine or eleven. I can't remember somewhere around there. I haven't played Squirtle in a long time, but. Uh, if you if you have Squirtle or Bulbasaur and their basic attacks, like their water or grass type attacks, you can breeze through this place. No 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 problem at all or at all. Uh if you chose Charmander, this is gonna be a pain in the ass for you. Um Honestly I would just suggest going and catching a Caterpie and evolving it to Butterfree and letting it learn confusion. Uh, I don't believe the gym leader here has any rock type moves so it's not like he can really hit you with your super effectiveness because uh, bug type Pokemon are weak to rock but uh, yeah confusion would help hit attack or help attack since uh, rock Pokemon tend to have weak uh, special or special defense uh, it's special in this game junior trainer you Junior trainer, you. I, I don't even have an insult for you. So infuriated. Vine Whip. Diglets are pretty fast. I forgot to mention that. They're weak, though. They're. Uh, I might actually have a Diglett as part of my team. I did my original yellow run. I like Diglett. I like it a lot. I like those pictures they have, like, where the Diglett's, like, the little tiny body, and, like, underground, it's a big muscular dude. And Sandshrew. Uh, no. I also like Sh or Sandshrew. I don't use it too often because uh, it's really slow, uh, if I recall correctly. You'd think it'd be a bit faster considering it's, I don't know, a rat, but... It's, I don't know. They're alright. Another interesting fact. In the Pokemon games, the, uh... Like, these came out a long time ago before the anime started up. But after the anime, uh, they uh, changed the design of the Pokemon to match the anime design. Rock hard defense and determination. Oh, you don't say. Show me your best. Show your moves. 
Ah, uh, Captain Falcon. Why doesn't he have a shirt on? I, like, I always think this picture looks so weird. Like, he's got, like, his hand... Like, he's like a 90s rocker. 90s just, like, punk grunge metal rocker. Without his shirt on. Geodude looks so stupid in this game. My god, I have no idea how Pokemon, can, like, took off the way it did with Pokemon looking like this. Like, look at him. He's got, like, bumps on his head. Onyx. Uh, I'm good. Which is really weird, considering, like, the graphical limitations of this game. But, like, in the Pokemon trading card game, they almost got, like, picture-perfect transitions from the Pokemon trading cards to, like, the way they look in the game. It's really crazy. Uh, it should take two Vine Whips to kill him. Or not. Damn. Holy Christ. But yeah, it's double super effective, so, I mean, that's, that's, that's fun. I took you for granted. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but yes. I, I don't know how I took you for granted makes sense. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I believe in, uh, Pokemon Fire Run Leaf Gray makes it so your attack raises. All the badges have weird side effects like that. I don't know if they actually do what they say, but I don't know. Uh, this move teaches Bide, I believe. Yeah, it's a really horrible attack, honestly. I hope so. So yeah, Cerulean Gym shouldn't be a problem at all, considering we have two types to knock it out of the freaking competition. But yeah, we're pretty much done here in Pewter. There's not much else we can do. I'm gonna go and buy some, uh... Some Pokeballs, though, before we leave. Because I used my only one on Pikachu, and then somehow caught it. Later games, they give you, like, five Pokeballs to start off with, which is good. Pokemon are fighting fit! Also, they, uh, changed the, uh, nurse character to look, uh, to look more like Nurse Joy. Interesting touches. Everybody loves an interesting touch. That sounded horrible, I'm sorry. Let's buy some Pokeballs. Like, Sove. Why? I don't, I don't know why they called it... Like, I get pocket monsters. So I get the poke... But, like, poke... I don't... I, I want to know how, like, they got the abbreviation poke instead of Pokemon. Pokemon doesn't sound that great, honestly, so... I'm actually kind of glad they kept it as that. Wait, we have a Pokemon that can take this out. Go Pikachu! Thunder! Pikachu! Use your thunder... Punch! <laughs> ah, Ego Raptor, you silly mofo, you. And Rouge defeated Lass. I should have made, should just name my dude or my character Dude. He's like Dude beat Lass, like the most basic names ever. Let's tackle Weedle. I could tackle those. Oh, what's this? Another Caterpie? Oh, I could tackle those. And Sprout grew to level 16, which means Sprout's going to evolve. Yay, Sprout. <gasps> Sprout is evolving, what? Bulbasaur looks so cute. And then he starts morphing into a hideous creature. Ivysaur. It's cool because like, the original Pokemon do look a lot like Digimon. I, I, I don't know why, but like they just kind of remind me of that Digimon look. Like that, like, that looks nothing like the Pikachu we have today. I don't know. But yeah, we evolved so our stats went up, and, uh, I thought level 16 we were supposed to learn fine, or not, uh... Dear Lord, what's it called? Uh, Poison Powder and Sleep Powder and Paralysis Powder and... Powder Powder and Willy Wonka's... That Pixie Sticks, there you go. Ooh, a Rotata. I always thought that was weird in the Pokemon themes, or the, the Poke rap. They're like, Rattata! I always thought it was Rattata, but it was like, Rattata! Ekans! Charmeleon! War Turtle! Venomoth? 
Oh man, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's been so long, I haven't... Also, another thing that sucked back in the day was rap. Because it would go on for freaking ever. And then they would get the first attack and use rap again. You'd just be stuck in rap for like 14 turns. Until you die, basically. I think Ekans is a cool Pokemon. Never used it, but like I said, it's a cool Pokemon. It's cool Pokemans. Are you a trainer? Let's fight. I have no interesting lines of dialogue. Where do the bug catchers all get their matching outfits? Go, Weedle! Yours is the drill that will pierce the heavens! Who the hell do you think we are? Uh, Kakuna. Like, look at Kakuna. Like, what the hell kind of sprite is that for Kakuna? Like if you like if they if they only came out with the with the Pokemon uh, games after the anime, like like just Pokemon like they just came out with like Pokemon Yellow or Pokemon Gold and Silver or something like that, and then like they they found the ROM for like the original Pokemon game and they fo they saw these characters they would be like or like these uh, pictures they'd be like what the hell is that. Metapod. Honestly, Caterpie always remind me of uh, Mothra from Godzilla. Like before it metamorphoses and metamorphosizes into Mothra, it's got like the. Oh come on! Don't tell me you never saw, you know, Godzilla versus Mothra, where they find the the two eggs on the island, and one of them hatches into into Batra, and the other one hatches into Mothra. They basically gave the idea for Beautifly and, uh, that other Pokemans. The Dustox, yeah, there you go. I don't like Dustox. <laughs> you gave me that look! It's so intriguing, I can't look away! Last with her big anime eyes. I have to say, they put a good deal of, uh, detail into the character sprites, though. Or the models, anyway. Let's use, a uh, Vine Whip, why not? Get that stab bonus. That same type attack bonus. It might as well do or does more damage than uh tackle does, that's for damn sure. Yay, Sprout gained experience. And about to use it around. Yeah, let's switch it up to Pikachu. Pikachu. Also, if you use Charmander during the uh Brock fight, you could have probably gotten Nidoran and uh and uh what is it? Either male or female, because I believe they both learn double kick when they evolve into Nidorino, but that would still take some time. I think Nidoran learns it, like, the female Nidoran learns it earlier. I don't remember, though. It's been a long time since I've actually not, or, like, played as Charmander, or played with a Charmander. But fortunately, that's all the time you have to listen to my sweet dulcets and tones and all that fun stuff. So... Join me back next time when we make our way to Mount Moon, one of my least favorite areas in this game. God damn Zubats. Anyway, this has been Millennium Jester from the Gamer Infinity, and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, keep on playing.